Breaking news. The person who beat the net ma beat the mouse was found. Here we're showing a picture of him. Whoa, it is a baby. Now that they're in jail, you should now follow their Instagram at tjawesome slash pjawesome slash tjawesome.com. Putting on chapstick ASMR. <laughs> One second. Time to apply the chapstick. I put on the chap. I put on the chapstick. Here is an epic gamer mouse. High quality epic gamer shiny mouse. Mint condition. Which means it tastes like mints. Rich boy check. Hey, this not holding. Let me go and eat me and me go I'm an I'm a I'm a boy. Whoa. Whoever hacked my channel and did that is really not cool. I am not rich. Just because I live in a three million dollar mansion with five floors and 20 bathrooms all on the basement level does not mean that I'm rich. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Because when I speak, I sometimes forget to breathe. There we go. That's all the breath I need to do the rest of the video. Aren't magnets really cool? You cannot use magnets if you only have one arm. Whoa. Isn't that really cool? That is really cool. I wonder how they did that. Whoever invented magnets must be really, really smart. Nutcracker Review, Part 1. <laughs> the Pink Nutcracker. This is a mint condition, $1,200 stainless steel and gold nutcracker. It was given to me by my sister in the year 2020 for my birthday. The beard is very soft. I comb it daily. The mechanics are very nice. A minor nitpick is the beard always gets sucked in whenever you go all the way down, which does leave a crease. But is it to expect it to happen? Because the only purpose... <laughs> the only purpose of the beard is to cover up the hole it creates. 
but there should be an inventive way to keep the beard from getting sucked in. Also, the cape is a minor inconvenience when moving the thing in the back. Capes aren't too good on nutcrackers unless they are not as tied around the neck. If they start farther back, it is easier to move, but these are a bit tighter, so it's harder to move the cape back. The woodworking is pretty good. Only minor nitpick, you can see the glue outline here. The eyes seem pretty symmetrical and the teeth are painted on pretty well. But you can see a bit of minor inconsistencies here with the placement of the teeth. The mustache and rosy cheeks seem to be in perfect condition, though the rosy cheeks do not seem to be in the same spot on both sides. Now the nose is more on one side than the other. Now, minor inconsistency. The hair and goatee thing is white. But the mustache and eyebrows are both black. It would make sense for the eyebrows to be black, because that can happen. But the mustache and the beard different colors does not happen much. This should come with something that says that he uses a dyeing kit to dye his mustache. Also, the feet are not really connected well, and you could see a big gap between the leg and the foot. I only have two nutcrackers in my room at this moment, So, but the other one is the same except white, but there is some minor differences. Let's check that out. The rest of my nutcrackers are in a separate room, in a box. I'll get them one day if this goes viral. similar job. You can tell they're made by the same company. Same 2020 logo, same boots and legs, just different colors. The belts are also different colors, but same woodworking. Based on this, the woodworking of all of it, including the belt and the face, are all the same. They, but the difference is, is the painting and the jewels. As you can see, this one is completely white, when this one's is pink and also has some gold as well. The cape is also with minor differences. It's very thin. It has kind of this jewel lining. This one is a lot thicker and with the fur lining at the bottom, no lining here. As you also notice, the jewels are different. These ones up here are a lot bigger than these ones. And these ones are a lot bigger than these ones. Also, the paint job is different. This one is plate white on the coat, but this one has some white lining. They're both very good jobs, but this one seems to be a bit smoother, but this one has a bit more glue showing, but this one, its new nose seems a bit different somehow, like it's somehow bent to the right, which of course, noses can be bent like that, but an impressive woodworker would make it completely straight. Also, there's a minor scratch right above the mustache and some scratching hair, showing it's not in mint condition. You also can see the wig lining here. You want to cover that up good. And there's the same problems from before. One of them I did not notice on the other one, which I did not see that much. The jewels are kind of not spaced out correctly. These ones are closer to the beard, while these ones are farther away and are scared of them. Not good working. Also, difference. Lots of sparkles here, but none right there. Or less, I mean, huh? It also seems there's some pink sparkles there, which may be from the other one. Maybe they're close to each other in the store. The teeth are also seem to be a bit out of whack and a bit loose. Similar problems with going back, getting caught in the cape. But this one somehow feels better. This one's also a bit more crusty. 
this one has a lot smoother of an opening even though it has a bit of a, a clunk right here because of the bending of it this one has um maybe some edges inside like this it's very crusty kind of like a popcorn ceiling making it very harder to open something on this you may notice it's completely smooth inside of the mouth except a little bit of bumping Overall, this collection is pretty good, and I would recommend. This one is probably a 6 out of 10, and this one a 5 out of 10. Even though this one has more impressive work working, and seems to be in better condition, the pink coloring on this one really brings it home. Even though I like the big furry coat on this one, which really matches the winter theme, this one's sparkles and thinness kind of matches the outfit very well. Also, the extra sparkles on this thing, that are not on this thing, very bring out the stunningness of the outfit. This one is very plain as well. White, white, kind of a gemish, uh, silver, white, 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 black, white, silver. This one is a lot more mix of colors. Gold, white, pink, silver. Gold, white, pink, silver. Gold, white, pink, silver. This one has about three colors. This one is mainly focused on two. But mainly white. The black and the black and silver are very small elements of this. While this has a lot more to it, even though it has less black, the color onto it really brings out and stunnings this particular outfit. Next. I forgot what I was saying <sighs> and then on this one also is kind of see-through which kind of brings it down a little bit from the back from the bag, this looks like an old hag. Is that, am I allowed to say that? I don't even know what that means, honestly. I think it just means old person. I'm just gonna keep it in. Don't cancel me, please. This one, you can't see through it, which really brings this one up to a seven. And this one, not a seven, I mean, this brings it up to a six, and this probably like a, still a six. I think they're about even now. I've changed my rating. This one, smoother hair. This one looks more rugged. I, maybe it needed a comb out, but this one seems naturally better. And the see-through on it, never noticed it before, since it's mostly viewed from the front. But the back viewing needs to be pretty pristine as well, if this is going to sell for a high price. So this one seems to have a better cape. This one seems higher quality, but I do like the pink and coloring on this one, which really still brings it on an even six. If this gets 1,000 views, I will do a review on my Vampire Nutcracker. And then if that does good, I'll do my Football Nutcracker, my King Nutcracker, and my Tiny Nutcracker, my Tiny Snowman Nutcracker, my Footless Nutcracker, who is also tiny. I'll do videos on all of those. This has been very nice. I'm trying to hit the 14 minute mark. Eight, nine, there.